Mark chapter 8 verses 4 to 10. And then his disciples answered him, How can one satisfy these people with bread here in the wilderness? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and gave thanks, broke them and gave them to his disciples to set before them. And they set them before the multitude. They also had a few small fish. And having blessed them, he said to set them also before them. So they ate and were filled. And they took off seven large baskets of leftover fragments. Now those who had eaten were about 4,000. And he sent them away, immediately got into the boat with his disciples, and came to the region of Dalmanutha. If Jesus sent the people back home on an empty stomach, they could easily faint on the way. He shared these concerns with his disciples. The ball was now in their court. What should they have done since they had seen Jesus feed the 5,000? Master, we know what to do. We'll look for some bread and fish. Don't you think they should have reacted this way? But they said, How can one satisfy these people with the bread here in the wilderness? It's unbelievable. They had seen the miracle and tried to anoint him as a king. Unless they were complete fools or suffered from dementia, how on earth could they answer that way? The disciples were not educated, but they were certainly not no fools either. So, why did they answer like this? It was prejudice, plain and simple. The place where Jesus fed the 5,000 was Jewish territory. But now they were in a Gentile area. Jesus had made an effort to teach them that everyone is God's child, both Jews and Gentiles, when he had uh, talked with a side of financial woman. However, their hearts were still hardened. They were not ready to accept Gentiles as brothers. They had no interest in their empty stomachs. It is not an easy task to distribute food to more than 12,000 people. 4,000 was the only number of adult men. They did not want to render this kind of service to people they regarded as dogs. Furthermore, they realized that this situation would not lead to Jesus being anointed as king. They recalled the night they had filled the lake of Galilee with their bitterness and disappointment after Jesus had rejected their first attempts to see him crowned. They did not like Jesus working for Gentiles. They did not like sacrificing their own comfort for dogs. It was hard for them to embrace Gentiles, but it seemed as if they had no other option. Eventually, they brought the seven loaves of bread and two fish. They had to serve the people, no doubt, with reluctant hearts and lots of grumbling. I'm sure it was a learning experience, the blessing of rendering unwilling service. Everyone was well fed, including the disciples and there were even leftovers. It reminds me of a mother who always cooks a bit more than is necessary. I thank God, who loves everyone, both the people I love 
and people I don't love and provides abundantly for them.